Wrestling versus Karate. There are many forms of fighting, and they all have their strengths and weaknesses, but which ones are the most effective? If you put them up against each other, which one would come out on top? In this video, we are going to take a look at just two types of fighting techniques, wrestling and karate, and see if we can work out which one is the most effective. But before we do this, remember to give us a thumbs up and a quick click on our subscribe button to get more videos like this one and support Brutal TV. Thanks! But for now, let's go back to wrestling and karate. Wrestling represents one of the oldest forms of combat. The origins go back 15,000 years through cave drawings, showing wrestlers using most of the holds known in the present day sport. This is a combat sport involving grappling type techniques such as clinch fighting, throws and takedowns, joint locks, pins, and other grappling holds. The three basic types of wrestling contests are the belt and jacket, catch hold, and loose styles. Belt and jacket styles of wrestling are those in which the clothing of the wrestlers provide the principal means of taking a grip on the opponent. Catch hold styles require the contestants to take a prescribed hold before the contest begins. Often this grip must be maintained throughout the struggle. Loose styles of wrestling, which are used in modern international competition, commence with the wrestlers separated and free to seize any grip they choose, except those that are explicitly forbidden. The competitors make use of techniques that are best learned by practice. While standing, they strive to bring each other to the mat with a series of maneuvers known as takedowns, involving lifting, throwing, twisting, tackling, and tipping. When attacked, a wrestler applies counterattacks to convert the situation to his advantage. If the wrestlers go down on the mat without a touch fall, they proceed to grapple, seizing each other with various grips and counter grips to work toward a fall. Great strength, although an asset, is not imperative. Since most of the maneuvers employ the principle of leverage, strong balance, speed, good physical condition, and technical knowledge are far more essential. The action in wrestling proceeds at a furious pace and involves all muscles of the body. The skills you learn in wrestling such as pressure, explosiveness, and control can be utilized in self-defense. You develop the instinct to defend yourself, neutralizing whatever threat may come to you quickly. If you have the ability to take a man down and control him, more than half the battle is already won. Needless to say, wrestling techniques have also been incorporated into other martial arts as well as military hand-to-hand -hand combat systems. It is considered to be one of the five core disciplines in mixed martial arts, together with Muay Thai, kickboxing, judo, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. There are, however, many different types of wrestling which all have varied rules. In Greco-Roman style, it is forbidden to hold the opponent below the belt, to make trips, and to actively use the legs in the execution of any action. Freestyle wrestling, however, allows the use of the legs in offense and defense. Then there is the sports entertainment, which is sometimes referred to as American-style professional wrestling run by companies such as WWE, AEW, and ROH. These matches are more on the theatrical side with dramatic stories such as feuds between the athletes developed and performed as part of the build-up and promotion for the matches. We are now at the halfway mark, so just a reminder to like this video and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top quality fighting videos. Now back to our two fighting styles. Karate is a martial art that became recognized in Japan during the 17th century. Gichin Funakoshi is credited as being the father of modern karate. Like many other forms of martial arts, karate focuses on a belt ranking system, mental strength, coordination, and respect. Karate literally translates to empty hand. Rather than using man-made weapons, students of karate are taught that their bodies are weapons. They learn a variety of kicks and punches, as well as blocks for defensive positions. They are also taught how to deliver powerful blows and block attacks in the name of self-defense rather than violence. As with wrestling, there are different styles of karate. The first is Goju Ryu. 
This form is composed of formidable counter-strike movements in the offensive positions and soft circular blocks in the defensive positions that resemble jujitsu. It also uses breathing power and a variety of stances that offer soft and hard techniques capable of showing the differences between karate styles. Shotokan Ryu utilizes wide stances and linear methods. This form enables students to deliver impressive strikes in a quick and efficient manner using the hands, elbows, knees, and feet. By far the most popular style, this one is widely known throughout the world. Wadu Ryu is an offshoot of Shotokan Ryu and is all about harmony of movements, being rather similar to the martial art Jiu-Jitsu. Rather than focusing on contact sparring, it teaches students how to move the body to avoid attacks. As a way of distinguishing itself from other karate styles, this fluid form of karate uses shorter stances compared to other ones. Shito Ryu is all about landing powerfully accurate strikes. A high emphasis is placed on technique in this style, as evidenced by the 50 katas students learn, which are predetermined moves for attacks and defense that the student must perfect. Often, these katas are demonstrated as part of competitions and students can be tested on them. This particular style requires physical strength and strong stances to perform the moves. Besides these four main branches of karate, there are also others, including Shorinji Ryu, Kyokushin Ryu, Shorin Ryu, Yuchi Ryu, and Ishin Ryu, to name a few. While these are not as well known, they are no less important or respected as part of karate history and community. So there we have our two fighting styles, and the question now is, which one is the most effective? Unfortunately, this question seeks something that does not exist. There really cannot be any such thing as the most effective martial art or the best because supporting one martial arts system over all others is a matter of opinion. What we need to focus on is understanding the differences between the preferred tactics and strategy of each varying system as opposed to the quality of instruction at a particular school. You can choose a system that strives to take down and restrain to submission, or one that primarily strikes. Each system is an option, but not the deciding factor for success. Many martial artists will learn that if an opponent gets close to them, then that opponent has to deal with their strikes or throws, or their restraints that are very dangerous and effective. All systems teach these things to varying degrees with different tactical applications, but each is highly effective. Each system gets personalized to sometimes delete aspects that others find useful. So once again, there is no right or wrong answer to this question. It's all about individual opinions. If you favor more of a grappling technique, then wrestling wins for you. Otherwise, if you're a fan of a strike-based approach, then karate takes the crown. Do you think one is more effective than the other? Have you ever practiced one of these fighting styles? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top fighting videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.